Jackson will usually go out and get it, but they won't bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. Say, they'll go get it, but they won't bring it back. <laughs> There's more uh, working time bridgebacks again. Now this is an early dog. I'm sure all of us are familiar with this dog. It looks quite different than maybe some of the dogs we're used to seeing today. This also. Notice the length of loin. It's longer in the loin. If I was going to pick a dog to do agility, I would pick this dog over, or maybe this dog, over this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous dog. Beautiful dog. This is um, more of a, a foundation type breeding stock. But I'd also want to know what is going on in this dog's head. Will this dog take commands? Um, so many of our dogs, you know, and, and, and once again, I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing. If we're breeding primarily show and pet dogs for people in suburbia, we probably don't want a working type temperament. I know my border collie is not, would not be a good pet. He absolutely would not be. Um, he needs a, probably an hour or two of good hard work every day. He is not a dog I would recommend. And the average person that has their dog in the backyard uh, and you know maybe takes it for a half a mile walk a day, no, they would not want this dog. So, maybe we don't, uh, you know, we don't, but I don't think we should say that we're breeding dogs that were bred specifically for a particular purpose and a particular temperament when we're not. So, um, let's see, I have a few other little things here to say. Originally based. 